Ever get that feeling? Like a song just reaches in and grabs hold of your soul. Yeah, definitely. It is well with my soul. Always does that for me. It's powerful. You hear it everywhere. Funerals, yeah. Tough times. Sometimes even when things are good. Like a reminder, you know. Absolutely. But how many of us really know the story behind it? Right. The words, the music, all of it. This is where our deep dive stoops today. I love this one. Horatio Spafford. Mm -hmm. The guy who wrote this incredible hymn. And the thing is, his story is so powerful because he lived it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just theory for him. He wasn't some, like scholar in an ivory tower oh no not at all this guy was in the thick of it faith and d tragedy all mixed together well he was a successful lawyer big name in chicago back then late 1800s prominent guy devout presbyterian too active in his church supported dwight l moody that evangelist big time moody was huge back then then 1871 hits great chicago fire devastating spafford loses tons in that fire property i mean can you imagine Losing everything, home, business, that feeling of security, gone. And yet he didn't fall apart. Instead of despair, it's like his faith just got stronger. Resilience. He goes all in on helping rebuild, works with Moody to support everyone who lost everything. That says a lot about a person, doesn't it? But that's not the end of the story. Oh, no. Not even close. A couple years later, 1873, Spafford's planning a European trip for the family. A little getaway. But business keeps him back, sends his wife, Anna and their four daughters ahead. No four daughters. Imagine that. Then tragedy hits again. The ship, the Vildiav, collides with another vessel. Sinks. Horrible. All four daughters gone. Anna survives. Sends a telegram to her husband. Shilling. What do you even say? Four words. Saved alone. Wow. Those words. The grief, the shock, it's hard to even fathom. Unimaginable. To lose a child is one thing, but all four at once. The depths of that sorrow. And yet this is where it gets incredible. Spafford, devastated as he is, set sail to meet his wife in Europe. Crossing the Atlantic, following the same path his family took. The ship passes near the spot where his daughters were lost. He's processing this immense grief, finding comfort in his belief. And that's when it is well with my soul starts to form. Powerful. It wasn't about ignoring the pain or pretending he wasn't hurting. No. It was about finding peace. Finding strength in his faith, even in that darkness. Every line of that hymn is soaked in that faith. When peace, like a river, it's not just a poetic image, it's his journey. Finding peace in the midst of this unbelievable loss. Exactly. And later, those powerful words, when sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say. It is well, it is well with my soul. A declaration, an yeah. affirmation. His spirit was anchored, no matter how rough the storm. And that's what makes this hymn resonate with so many people from all walks of life. It speaks to that human experience of grief, of loss, the search for hope, for meaning, when the world feels like it's falling apart. Absolutely. It's become a part of our grieving, our way of comforting each other, a shared language for when words just aren't enough. The hymn was published in 1876, spread through churches like wildfire, sung at memorials at funerals, offering comfort, but also sung in times of joy. Yeah, that's interesting. Like a reminder that even when life's up and down, there's that deeper peace, that wellspring to draw on. It's a hymn for all seasons, isn't it? Whatever we face in life. And we can't talk about the hymn without the music. Philip Bliss, he was a gospel singer, a composer. Talented guy. Friend of Spafford's too. Mm -hmm. He created the arrangement we know today. The melody adds this whole other layer of emotion. It's like the music makes the words even more real. You hear those melodies, the harmonies. It's like uplifting. Powerful lyrics, moving music. That's what makes It Is Well With My Soul such an enduring classic. Sung in churches at gatherings, recorded by so many different artists, all kinds of genres. It transcends time, even cultures. It's message, faith, and hope. It resonates with people even if they don't share Spafford's specific beliefs. It's something deeper, isn't it? That longing for peace, for understanding. When life gets stormy, when we face those tough questions. I think knowing Horatio Spafford's story, the full weight of his loss. It changes how you hear the hymn. Gives it a whole new level of meaning. It makes you think, doesn't yeah. it? How do we find that same peace, that resilience in our own lives, especially when things are tough? How do we cultivate that kind of unwavering faith? Big questions. Maybe the next time you hear that hymn, it'll hit you differently, knowing the story behind it. The man who, through immense suffering, found a wellspring of hope. A hope that still inspires today. Absolutely.